I would like to begin with a, um, a brief introduction to the interface that you see on your screen. Uh, the motor stove induction motor is uh, divided into uh, three main areas, the first of which is the main view area where the model is uh, displayed, as you see on your screen. And uh, it is displayed in real time in the sense that uh, any changes uh, made to any aspect, geometrical or otherwise, of motor stove are, uh, are uh, uh, updated instantly and taken into account for results uh, computation. Uh, the second area consists of a series of menus, starting with various uh, file management options in MotorSolve, uh, followed by a design menu, where, uh, in which design inputs are um, entered by the user uh, to create a model, as well as a results section that allows the user to uh, compute the various uh, performance characteristics of any model. In addition, there's also a materials uh, library uh, containing over uh, 200 uh, uh, materials uh, to which the user can, of course, also add their own material and apply to uh, any part of a given model. So without uh, further ado, uh, what I'd like to do is now um, uh, demonstrate how easily MotorSolve uh, allows a user to create um, uh, a particular design. So uh, the design process uh, can be completed in as few as four steps, as I mentioned earlier, and I'm going to follow a particular sequence uh, to create a model. However, I would like to emphasize that uh, uh, the user is by no means bound by any particular sequence for designing uh, a model or uh, creating a model. That, that can be done in, uh, uh, in any, any, any sequence that a user or designer uh, wishes to do so. So I'm going to begin um, uh, the first 